No, that hasn't worked. No? No. Um, hey, right, the other day, um, somebody laughed because I put out the title. You don't need to watch the video. It said Ryan's opinion. Hey, look, I value Ryan's opinion, right? It's so important to value other people's opinions about things. And um, sometimes you just have to stop and think it's not just about you, is it? Not no, you, no, not me. Yeah, it's yeah. not just about me. It's about other people. Um, so what are you doing today? About a, a, a little... Um rise on we have to put yeah. on in that little inspection chamber do you know right i gotta tell you this right over the years right um sometimes when you want to make progress you want to get out the van get into it smash into it right and that's good you're making progress right but the thing is what you want to do anything you do you should do well should you oh, definitely, yeah. yeah so our aim is this morning whatever we do we do well and we don't have to go back to it so I was saying about that chamber this morning is that we'll put that little chamber, it's only a small one, it's not a big deal, like, you know, but it may be a, a big deal for somebody like a DIYer out there or a young lad that's starting in the landscape industry that wouldn't know what's what. So we have to bring that chamber up. We've got to sit uh, an inspection tray through it. And, you know, because of the line of the pipe work, it might be good to mention that it'd be good to try and get the, the mano trays lined up, wouldn't it? Yeah, if we if, if, if we, we can, can yeah. if it's possible, so that's that's the thing that we we we're gonna do. Um, and it's always good to think about if you're putting drainage in, try and think of running them straight. The idea that they put a, a manhole in is because generally it's a change in direction, and when you have a change in direction, um, it's about rodding access. So if you had a blockage, you you've got access down there and you can get down there. Um, it's good to know as well about depth as well, because when you get to a certain depth, sometimes that small chamber, I've seen it before, and um, where they're about a metre and a half deep, yeah. and they've got a small chamber in, and that's not that's when you need... I can't even remember what the spec is now for when you get to a certain depth that your chamber should, should be wider, but we're okay with this. I think we're about like 400 mil down, I think it is, somewhere around that. Yeah. So it's not too bad. So we're going to get that chamber in, um, and as I said, we're going to... We're going to film it and we'll film it in time lapse and we're going to concrete round it and we'll show you uh, different stages through it. But in the meantime, um, we might have a cake. Well, we've got the wrong chamber here, so we've got to get, get into it. Wow. Three. We may have to measure the other one, right? On the inside down there. Right, okay, so what we've got now is uh, we've got the uh, chamber in place. Uh, we've had to make some adjustment on it because it's not the same same brand, it's not available at the moment. And to try and get product at the moment is just a nightmare. Um, yeah, supplies are difficult. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna measure down off the top of that uh, slab and we're gonna cut and reduce the height of that black chamber now. So you're gonna see it in action. Well, we've measured that within within 10 mil now, got it at the right level. Now we're gonna put a concrete base around that uh, just to ensure that it's nice and solid. Okay, we've uh, we've got this chamber in, we've got this extension in, in here now. We've got it, this chamber now is literally, the tray is just under 60 mil, 58 mil, somewhere around there it is. So we need to bed that onto something, okay? and. We won't use, we'll do this like, um, like we used bench man all years ago. So we put concrete in first, get it roughly to the, the, the right height, 
uh, roughly, approximately, and then just allow for that 10 mil sharp sand or even some grano dust that we can put in with the cement just to find it off like so underneath so it looks nice and neat when they lift the inspection tray up. So can we get some concrete in here then, right? Yeah. And the other thing, of course, is that we want this tray to line up with the other tray. So right, just to give you an idea, um, stay there a sec, on here, the edge of the tray is to 500 mil. So what we're doing, so this will work it, and it'll work in line, so it'll look, look nice and neat then. So basically, there's your 500 mil there. So that's where the tray's gonna come. So we want the concrete round here, don't we? And then sort of make it up so we're not using so much bedding water when we lay the slabs then as well. Like, so if you start putting some here first, and then we'll put some over here, because it's dropped, dropped away. We've got some linear drains to go along here as well, haven't we? Like, you know? Yeah. But one thing we'll have to do, we'll have to give this a wash down as well later. Give this glass a bit of a wash. So there we are. We've got some concrete around the chamber, holding the, the new chamber in place. And the idea is just to get this exit. You know, just to get this concrete to the exact height of that chamber in there. And you can see, and then you know it's going to hold in place then as well. So I think we've got plenty there, haven't we? I think we'll have enough. Yeah, make sure that comes down. And a little tip, to be honest, is always good to put what we do here. Um, should have a bag inside or a bucket, but there's nothing dropping inside. We know what we're doing here. So there you are. A little stone there and remember this is a storm drain so i don't necessarily need to wear a glove it'll be fine there's only storm water going in there so you've got to think of your ppe as well so can we have just just chuck it all down right i think yeah just chuck some more on, on yeah. this uh corner just a little bit on there and i'll move it from there that's it and then over here mate Right, if you've got any more there, in yeah. fact, if you want to tip that up, I'll scrape it out if you yeah, want. Yeah. Just watch the edge of that slab there. Come come down. Oh that's it mate, that's it. That's it. Lovely. Space to get in. The biggest stone there. There we are. So there we are. Got this basically a concrete base, and that allows us to work to say what I am going to do. There's nothing in there, but I am going to. Just get some water and make sure that ch that chamber is nice and clean. Ensuring that we don't wash the concrete down there as well. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. The thing that you, I think you have to consider, if this was a foul drain. What you don't want is anything that toilet paper could scag onto or any material particles that are going down there because when they start scagging, that's when they're, they, they start building up. So the idea of the inside of the chamber is so it's nice and smooth and everything keeps, keeps running. It's nice and clean inside there. I will show you after. Um, but let's get on with it. So uh, what Brian is doing there, he's taking those screws out. Those screws uh are holding the tray in place and we'll show you in a, in a moment but underneath that tray is a rubber seal all the way around uh against the um the, the plastic frame just to ensure that uh, hey right um that's what i was going to say so these are from what does it say ww jace edgeco or something e ejco oh yeah ejco edgeco so that's where these come from and there are the clarks and the savage ones and they've got these little plastic trims here on the top um, just so it looks a little bit neater so you don't just see those handles but 
Um, if you've had a patio laid and you need to get to your manhole because it's blocked for whatever reason, all you do is undo those screws there, take that plastic clip off, undo those screws there, right? And then you lift that handle and the whole tray will come out with the slab that's been laid in there. Don't, whatever you do, don't just start ripping it up. So Roy's taking the screws out and there's the handles. This is how you lift them up. And just imagine you've got a slab in there or your cuts, whatever, to make it look. And there you are, you can lift it up now. And there we are, there's, there's the rubber seal. You can see, so it's massively improved, Ryan, these, these systems have to what they were uh, before. Though this is a, a storm drain, um, you know, the rubber seal's great, but they never used to have this years ago. Um, it's, on some they did, but not not all of them. But they, they never had these trays years ago. That was the thing about it. It's, it's all about finesse now. So what we're doing now, Ryan's going to bring the, the tray over. Let's get some space for him. This is our mortar here. Just, uh, I was looking for the, the tape, Roy. The tape's around here. Some, there it is, yeah. on there. I'll just measure this over there so you can see. So if we go over here, and they can hear us on camera now, it's absolutely fine. So what we have to the edge of tray, 505 mil. So what we do now, we've got 505 mil on the previous inspection tray and we want it to line up so it all looks nice and neat so what we do 505 we put a nice little mark there in the mortar just like when you're doing your, your brickwork 505 in. but remember right this is the, the important thing is that when you measure off these bricks and they're below damp of course you hope that they're straight and they'd be laid to a string line and they probably have been but sometimes because of the style of the bricks that can go in and out so what we need to do this is roughly we're on 505 mil roughly in place and then what we'll do at a later date uh today we'll get a string line and run the string line through and making sure that it's running all nice and square so right do you want to place yeah and remember it's to that line there not that one to that line we can measure off there so at least now ryan knows where that's gonna gonna go approximately there we go. You need to go that way a bit. Yeah. Right, so that's out, Ryan, in that respect. The only thing now, Roy, what we need to do is we want to see if we can pull it this way a little bit, if we can. So just yeah. lift that up and see where, the, let's have a look where the chamber comes. So just see if we can pinch it over a little bit. Well, not really. No, no not really. So, in fact, Look, I think the thing is, if you look at look at here now, just to explain this, the we are on 505 mil, so it's li in line with that. So this is the compromise, right? Is that it's not exactly showing all the manhole ring, but it's literally, it's not far off, is it? No, it's pretty right. Much. So you've got rodding access if you need to. And remember, this is a storm drain, so and it's, look how deep it is, you know. Yeah. It's not that deep anyway, so you could get into there quite easily if you needed to. So we're going to keep it at that. We're going to mark it off. I'm just going to measure off here now again. I didn't need to square it off. Uh, yeah, to be yeah, yeah, massively. Yeah, so if I go... Uh, but hey, remember, that fence is running out as well. So what we need to do, lift it up, right? We need to break that bit of concrete off there now. Look, look at that there. Oh, you have to... Yeah, go on. I'll have to hit that. Go on. Just watch the old uh, slash. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Get that out. Ryan doesn't mess up. So there we go. Bring that back over to, to the line. And remember, that fence line is running out, so we're going square to the house on here. So um, if we go on here now, just go back to there again. That's, that's still eye on there, right? So yeah, I right. think what we need is, is an hammer and chisel. Oh, yeah, that, to be honest, mate. Um, 505, which is there. 505. Is there and at the moment that's showing we're a bit high on that on that spot there so yeah, right. just give it, give it a bit of a mark on there now i tell you what take that piece out there's a big chunk there take that out just watch that there fantastic that's weird watch that out. slab you don't be chipping your porcelain there you are right it's got that bit out now we must remember right that we mustn't say the C word at any point because we are live. <laughs> so let's let's put that on there now. Okay. I think that might be all right there actually. Oh no, it's got to go on there. That's right. 
on there. Yeah, so that's lower than that now, isn't it? So we, we probably need to bear that up. So 505, if I haven't said that a dozen times, push that back, right? They are, back to you, back, no, back to me, sorry, you are right. Go on, go on, stop. Yeah, that's where we are, square to the ice. This is just, just an approximation of where we are. We probably need to put a little bit of concrete underneath there now. Do you want to just lift that up again? Yeah, yeah. And we'll do it again? Not a problem. Do you want to mark it, do you? On that uh, side, see if that red right yeah, at the yeah. edge, yeah. There we are. He's not just a pretty face as our Ryan. There you are. Put a bit of concrete in there now. So we've got something solid to work on. We've got plenty of concrete on here. So that's fine. The importance of, of the concrete is just to ensure that it maintains its integrity and doesn't drop down at any point. Right, get that back on then, Roy. We'll see where we are. We've got our muck mixed up there. We'll be able to bear that in in a moment. Let's go on that measurement again. 505. We, and I, what I'm doing is I'm going to the corner because sometimes these trays are pretty good, right, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, but some, some of the trays, they, they, they do, do blend around. Yeah. And some of those smaller ones, um, I can't remember what brand they are. I know I've got to slate them off, but oh my God, they, they're all over the shop. And when you use the porcelain, it's not good at all. No. So it's good to be able to show our viewers now what we're actually doing here. So I can see on here that that's low enough. So what we're going to do, we've got our mark. And now I'm going to get some mortar and just go around the outside so we've got an approximation of where we are. Do you know, it's so hard, right, when you're trying to do a job and uh, show people how you would do it as well at the same time. Because I'm not a lecturer, I'm not an instructor. So the other thing, of course, is don't do what I just done there and get mortar all inside. We can blow that off, that's not a problem at all. So just, I should get my hand in it. Yes, I'll just put some all around the outside. We'll leave it pretty loose. Yeah, that needs packing in there, doesn't it? So, yeah, there's a good boat on there. We mustn't use our hands, Roy. Because somebody's going to somebody's going to say something. I know they will. <laughs> well, everybody has to say something. Yeah, they do. That's fine. They say what they like. Is you know, it's whether we take any notice of it. <laughs> you might. I won't. <laughs> there we are. Put some more on this side. And remember, over here, we're going to be having the picture frame running on this side down here. So, yeah. So if you look at that, Rod, we've actually got enough room for a picture frame on there, haven't we? Yeah. You know, and. Um, uh, we'll and, and then we're going to have a picture frame. Also, we're going to have a small gap for the gravel because we don't want to sit anything solid yeah. against that rock board. And unfortunately, the fence was already in place. Yeah, our picture frame's about 100 mil, is it? Yeah. yeah. Do you know, Roy, it's, it's actually good to sit. Yeah, leave, leave that a little bit loose in a minute, mate. We'll bed that up, we'll push that muck under so we've got it roughly in place. What were you going to say? Um, it's actually good for people to actually see. You can see that there's there's concrete in there. You know, we've got a we've got a nice grano mix here, so it's uh, nice and stiff. We're going to use this to sort of. It's not necessarily benching the manhole underneath, like because it's, it's, but it is in, in a way, like you know, it's yes, it is for a storm, but at least you know it's been done right. So what we need to do is get that out. What you don't want to be doing is getting cement down in these little holes there where your screws go in so let's blow it out yeah that's all right it's just so it took your blower <laughs> we, but we need no blower <laughs> shouldn't have said that really but there you go the dirty nine again eh? banter in the workplace so let's get our tray in place just put that in place now now we can get our spirit level so we gave it a sit what you don't want is like, you're best off making it up with concrete and making it the last little bit with with mortar because um, it's just the expense of it as well. Like, you know, and, and again, if you, if you have your mortar too thick, and that's exa an exaggeration, even if it's like that, like, um, it's not as strong, yeah. you know? So the idea about the mortar is that it's almost like brickwork. You don't need, it's the glue. Yeah. And the glue shouldn't be that thick, all right? So if you look at that now, Right, and you go over there, 
Oh, we, yeah, we got about 20 mil on that side, 25 mil, and we got about 10 mil on here, so that's fine. But what we do now, by leaving the tray in, it's gonna ensure that the frame doesn't twist. So what we can do now, because we know that we're not gonna get any mortar down inside the chamber, we can just lift this up and just push it underneath like that, pack it in, and remember, this mortar, it's not wet, is it, right? No, it's, it's not dry. too not, You're not too wet, but just enough. Yeah. Just, just to stand. Yeah, you need you can it. Work it yeah, but you need it to stand. We could put some. We could take the tray out and put it underneath. But sometimes it's just, it's just as quick, just to lift it like what we're doing here now, and just bring it up gradually. So let's have a look now. Let's see what we got there. It's gone down. Yeah, yeah. Hold on a sec. So just put that across. See what, see what we got that side. So you can see we still need to make it up here. So let's have a look now. I am using my hand here because. It's a little bit more easy at the moment. There we are. We will check the chamber in a minute. Make sure that nothing's gone down. See, the thing is, Ryan, by not using anything too wet at the moment, when I tap that down, it's not going to wobble. Yeah, but we've got to go down on here, Mike, at the moment. So the first thing first, what we need to do is measure our distance again and make sure that's right. 5-5, five, five, dead on. Right? 5-3, five, 5-2. Five, so bring that over, just check that now again. Right, that way, there we are. Just check that, there are five five and five five. So we know that's right. Now we're still a little bit low there, but what we need to do right, hold that end up a little bit and I can tap this down. So we have got a rubber mallet here, I promise you. So just tap that down on there. That's nearly touching there now, isn't it? Almost. A couple Almost. of Almost. Okay, so what we need to do, we also need to check this side, right? On here, on here. Because as the tray goes down, you want it to go down nice and even. If you have a look at this, we've still got a bit of a gap underneath here. So, if we um, tap on the tray there now. It's That's, touching that side, Yeah, yeah, it? it's touching just, hold on. Bring it through, see, so it's... Yeah, go yeah. on. Yeah? A little bit, like a mill too. Uh, low. Yeah, it's a, it's a mill or two low. Right, that's, that's okay. So we have to raise this side up as well. Yeah, anyway, so look, so. At, look at that now. And how far are we off there? About four or five mil. Right, okay, so let's get a little bit of more so we know we're on here. So if we put it on this side here. Let's just pack this up. Yeah. Using our hand here. There we are. There we are. We'll wash our hands off, I promise you. That cement will be on our hand for, for long. And uh, if we look now, Still, still, still a bit. Yeah, still a little bit. Well, hold it there. Hold it there. Let's have a look now on here. So, yeah. if you hold that side, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? It's actually <laughs> it's difficult to do this live, isn't it? And then, so look at that now. Touching, that's yeah. going down. Hold on a sec. Is that on the plastic? Because I'm just wondering when that's going to be down. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just sat on site at the moment. Yeah. So just run that through. Just screw that down. So mm. it's just a little bit, isn't it? Not yeah. much, is it? No. Let's see when. Try it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hold Remember, as this goes off, we can come back and check it. So what we need to do is we need to check this is correct here again. Do you know all this measuring? It's wild, isn't it? Yeah. But it's so important, isn't it, that you just keep checking. Yeah, it's gonna be right. Double check, triple check, quadruple check. So what we do now, right, is over that side of that frame where the frame is. There's like a little groove that goes all the way down, and that's for the mortar to bend into it to make sure that it doesn't it doesn't move. And I know some people are going to say something about something because they can, <laughs> yeah. and they're allowed to, aren't they? Yeah. Well, somebody always has to say something, don't they? Yeah. 
There we are. Right. What we'll do, Roy, let's just get some on the back there. Yeah. And then we'll we'll leave that now and we can come back to it and we can check the inside. Let that go off a little bit. Let's just get some water on there. Hold it in place. Yeah. Just make sure that you're down on the height to make sure we got a slab in. On there, that's fine. That's fine. So what's gonna happen? Probably this afternoon now, we're going to lift this up, clean the inside of the frame out uh, on that rubber. And we'll probably put some water on there, make sure that um, it's nice and clean and that tray sat in there. We'll check it for height. And then what we'll also do then, we'll sort of bench the inside of this manhole as well. So, so we'll leave it at that, right? So what we're going to do now, we're just going to make up the ground with the remaining water that we have here, because it's left over and you can just square up this ground so when we lay our slab with our new mortar we're not using so much again you don't want your mortar too thick in one go there we are so it's good to get your bed somewhere near it as you'd appreciate when you're recording yourself as well like this you want to make sure things are right and to be honest I don't mind if people have any questions uh, I can get back to you and respond to it so there we are Well, there we are, the rain's starting to come down a little bit now and uh, we've got that uh, tray in place. We've got one just there, okay? But you can see, we've just peeled back the sheet on here. You can start seeing some of the paving now because our client hasn't seen this as well. So they can't see the, the, the progress. But what our aim is now is to start dropping some slabs to that corner so we can start eventually getting the cuts done on that edge. Not necessarily today, but because we need to fill in we need to get to that that area so let's get those over there now we've got about six maybe seven slabs over there and then we've got maybe another two just here just to get us to the corner and then all of a sudden the bulk of the paving starts going down and then we can start thinking tomorrow about getting the cuts uh, around that tray it's just gradually slowly getting over there and you're covering all the areas at one time then as well so we're pushing on now and Ryan's slowing the back. He's battered that porcelain product and he's got his magic mix down and he's just putting the slab in place. Nice and tight. There you are. No chipping. Look at that. Perfect. Just enough to tap it down. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. It's all right. Where's the tapper? Yeah. Slurry? Yeah. Yeah, slurry done. There you are, look. In there, where you go, 
We've got the bed ready there, our magic mix. Okay, let's see we're heading towards that corner. That's Ryan. Um, what are you doing, Roy? Yeah, yeah, and we haven't got the paddle mix right now because it's raining and we don't yeah, get, the, yeah. get the power in. And, and that mix is all right, does it, when you do it that way as well? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so that's what Ryan's doing now. You can see the rain, well, I don't know if you start seeing the rain starting to come down. Let me just show you the, the Welsh mountains up here in Tredegar. We're not far from, uh, there we are, look. There's the mountains over there. And over that way is the Brecon Beacons. And so we're up high here. They've had snow in June up here. 